I'm 30 and I'm single and something that I quickly had to learn while dating at my 30s is that 30 or plus year old men would much rather date women that are on their early 20s than women that are 30 or plus years old. And I think the reason for that is because when you turn 30, you hit this wall where you don't take the same shit that you used to take while you were in your 20s. For example, when I was at my 20s, a guy would say, yeah, you know, like I just need time. I cannot be in a serious relationship with you right now. And I would go for it and I would entertain this man. If a man comes today and says, hey, I'm not ready for a serious relationship. It's like, babe, you're 30. The hairline is going back. Like, what else do you need time for? So I quickly had to realize that I'm probably gonna be spending a lot of time single and I have to be okay with it because I cannot go back to my 20s. I also don't want to. I love being 30 and the maturity and consciousness that I have now. So I just came from a first date and I'm just gonna sum it up. It went well, right? But how he ended the day is just like, ah! it's not much, but I love food. So this just really spoke to me. So as we were saying goodbye, he was like, did you enjoy your food? And I was like, yes, I did. I'm going to be hungry in an hour, though. And he's like, OK, I'll send you some food to your house so you won't have to um, spend your own money. Help me save money on food already and you put in food in my belly. That's a love language for me in its own. I'm already in love. <laughs> so I just came from date number two and it just keep getting better. <laughs> and then he ghosted me. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. And here's the thing. If you become a divorced mother in your mid to late 30s, I want you to recognize that you are going to witness other women who are similar to you who are snagging the young bucks, okay? They are robbing the cradle. They're getting the guys who were barely alive when 9-11 happened. And that's all fine and dandy. But I'm here to tell you, as one of those bitches, that it's not all that it's chalked up to be, okay? It's actually not all that great. I mean, my family is harassing me left and right, asking what I'm doing, wondering why I look so old, standing next to this little baby boy. I mean, I got humbled real quick this morning when my mom called and said that she made me an appointment to get Botox. So, <laughs> so I don't look so old next to him. This is just the reality, ladies, okay? And I don't feel like I even look that old for my age. But listen, when it looks like you could be nursing your son and you, your new man at the same time, this is a problem. This is a problem and it's become a problem for me. So I made the decision to start dating again. Are people actually being asked on dates? Because... I feel like there's lots of pin pals, but no, like, invites? Like, is that the way to put it? So help me out here. Are people actually going on dates or being asked out? Like, what's going on? I want to talk about being single and wanting to be loved. I'm currently on a trip on my own in Costa Rica and something really amazing happened to me today. I'm coming towards the end of my trip and I'm getting a little bit in my feels and I made a video, it's a couple of videos back, talking about rejection and the fact that I started this year experiencing lots of different rejections, both personally and professionally. Some of those were of course in the world of dating and it just made me think, God, is this ever going to happen for me? Now I talk a lot about being single and being happy and I think that no one is perpetually happy, no one is happy a hundred percent of the time it's just not possible however in general I'm incredibly happy because I just don't want to settle I know the kind of relationship that I want and so I'm willing to hold out for that relationship however there are days where I'm just like oh I, I would really like to start that journey now I would really like to start that journey with somebody and today was one of those days I woke up and I was feeling you know a little bit kind of like emotional and a little bit like I don't know if this is ever gonna happen and then all of those kind of old thoughts and patterns come up for me like what's wrong with me why does no one want me boo hoo but i recognize now and i'm very aware self-aware that those are just thoughts and they're not actually a reality so i choose not to buy into them because now i have that choice so anyway i took myself to breakfast because i was like i need to eat something i took my journal i'm like i'm going to just journal this all out and i'm going to feel so much better and as i was sitting down to have my breakfast with my journal my holiday friends that I made on a trip yesterday came down for breakfast and they were leaving this morning and I was so happy to see them because I thought they'd already left. 
And I don't know if you believe in coincidences or serendipity or the universe or whatever, but I certainly do. And one of the, the women, Ro, started telling me a story about how she'd been single for 14 years and then she has now met this incredible man and she's in love. She's just turned 39. They've been together for like the last year or so. And she also told me that her mum didn't meet her now husband of 15 years until she was 43. She didn't meet the love of her life until she was 43. I'm of the belief that we definitely have more than one love of our life or one soulmate. I think there are many, many people. And I think for the different versions of us that we are, there are many different junctions that we can take. But when I heard her tell this story, it just filled my heart with so much joy. And I was just like, that's the hope and faith. That's the hope and faith. Because the person that I'm gonna be with exists, they're alive, living their life somewhere. And when the time is right, I'm going to meet them and that was the message that I needed to be reminded of and that was the message that I got this morning. So whether you're male, female, if you're single and you do want a relationship, some people don't and that's absolutely fine and sometimes you find yourself kind of losing hope, I think it's really really important to remember that timing is everything. Enjoy your life right now and when you're meant to meet that person, you will. And yeah, I truly believe that's going to happen and when it does, I'll be sharing it with all of you. Keep telling yourself that, darling.